This summer, my parents have been running around Canada with their friends who came to visit from New Zealand. Currently, they are somewhere I've always wanted to go, but never been. So I'm about to go join them, get in my car, and drive the seven hours it's gonna take to get me to Niagara Falls. But first, I gotta get there. The whole trip itself took about seven hours of driving alone, which is fine. I love driving. I find it very therapeutic. But I didn't go straight to the falls. First stop was Niagara-on-the-Lake, where my parents and Tyna and Peter already were for some wine tasting tours. We ended up renting some bicycles and using them to get to various wineries in the surrounding area. It was a beautiful sunny day. At the time, I was 18, so even though it was legal for me to drink in my home province of Quebec, Niagara is in Ontario, whose legal age is 19. I respected the rules and sipped on juice boxes instead. We were scheduled to actually drive the half hour to get to the falls the following day. So when we were all lined out, we decided to take a little drive to figure out the logistics of it all. And we came across a beautiful alcove with some rapids called the Niagara Whirlpool. And now, for the moment we've all been waiting for, may I present Niagara Falls. Right now, in the state of the world with COVID-19 and all, I know this video seems sort of out of place. Ever since Quebec was put into a state of quarantine in March, I've been trying to catch up on old footage that I've had lying around. Once August rolled around, I started seeing my Snapchat memories of the one real adventure I had in 2019. Road tripping to Niagara Falls. I knew I had a ton of footage, though I had never picked any of it up for the sheer fact that it was such an overwhelming editing project. But now that I've had the time, it was the perfect opportunity to relive my adventure from last year. And so, this video was finally born a year later than it was intended. Here's to escapism.